Hello, infiltrated once more tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play XCOM Apocalypse with me, Blue Ankylo. Last episode, and the last few episodes, we've been fighting off all these downed UFOs, which was very, very productive. And we learned, we got all kinds of cool new toys for us to research, which is my favorite type of thing in an XCOM game, to be honest. And uh, between episodes, all I've done is made sure I've like tried to re-equip some people. Uh, and I have started distributing Devastator Cannons. I've mostly only assigned them to people who have either really good accuracy or really good strength. Or, you know, from some of the comments may have suggested that they would prefer a, uh, a certain type of weapon. So I just want to point out, like, some people who have really good accuracy um, and reasonably good strength probably should be using these. Although it's nice to have a backup weapon that's kind of more of a short range uh high rate of fire thing which we'll be getting eventually there's there is kind of an optimal combination that we're heading towards at light speed but yeah we're gonna try these out obviously i don't have a whole lot of them and i've been selling a lot to try to make money but uh i'll, I'll start trickling them out into the workforce and uh we can start seeing how good they are or bad and uh yeah that's pretty much it i uh da, 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 have my Squad's pretty much ready to go, so um, there's a lot of wounded soldiers because we've had a lot of missions all in a row and we've got probably quite a few more. So I'm just going to let them stay back and heal. And what I'll do is, because we're done with the UFOs, uh, instead of just sending, you know, 10 soldiers, I can send both, um, both hawks full of people at the same time. So we'll have actually quite a large group uh, to clear out the alien nests. Um... I also unequipped all the, well not, I unassigned all of the unnamed people because I think we'll have enough. I could have brought more, but I think, uh, you know, we, we can save them for more emergency purposes. When people inevitably die is where I'm getting at. So uh, I, I tried to remember, I spent a little bit of time trying to remember, you know, where I think the aliens landed. And I'm pretty sure they went to this, like, it's hard to say because I know I did it off camera and it's not, but, but I know they kind of flew in from this gate, and I know they kind of headed down sort of in this area, and I think, if I remember correctly, they flew this direction, which puts them around here, uh, and it is, you know, government office. Uh, we're gonna have to check quite a few buildings, uh, or wait a bunch of time, see what buildings are infiltrated, and then try to stop them, but that will result in more missions, and I'd like to get this cleaned up without having to do 20 missions. Also, Chances are I might only record the first one and then sort of speed through the rest and just, uh, you know, start footage if anything exciting happens. But the first one at the very least will show off just because it's, you know, there could be new aliens again, uh, maybe more new technology or something. And that's, that's worth showing off, no doubt about it. So we'll send our Valkyries. We've got the Valahawk. And the Duxin 2.0, technically. He used to be a, a Valkyrie rather than a Hawk. I'm sure he'll manage, or she will manage. So, I guess I should save it. Again, like, I'm not 100% sure. But, um, I'm... I mean, for all I know, every single building on the north side of town is infiltrated. So, I'm gonna save it, and then we'll start, uh, checking these out. Okay, good. So, this one was definitely infiltrated. I hope there's more than just, like, one egg here, but we'll see. Also, oh, jeez, we are doing large squads here, which is um, good, in my opinion. Um, I could split them up into six groups, but four groups is a little bit more manageable. I might be bringing too many people, to be honest, but uh, it gives more of you guys a chance to show off your moves. And more people a chance to gain stats. Okay, so it might not even be that large of a map. Uh, if this is an edge, which it is, and this is an edge. So we're only two wide, uh, but it could be like three deep depending on our luck. Okay, you know what? Uh, we're actually going to walk across this first room because I can't see anything in here. And chances are there's not much. I'm going to try another feature that I don't normally use. Oh, I know. The reason I don't use reserve TUs for aim shot is because that means, like, five TUs or something, and I'd rather reserve TUs for, like, 
a few shots. It's kind of my thinking. So, all right, well, let's start moving down here. See how many t time units we can not waste. All right, go a little bit further. I don't want to go super, super slow here. Um, but I also want to be cautious enough that we, we don't we don't get everyone killed, basically. As we get more uh, Marsec flying suits as well, that will make some things a little bit easier. Because once the whole team can fly, I can uh, I can control people a little bit easier. Just set everyone up to go to the air, basically. All right, this group's probably in the most danger, but uh, let's see how it goes. I'm going to sort of intentionally play a little bit more rashly here to save some time. Hopefully it doesn't cost anyone their lives, though. Given how quickly the alien end turn went, I kind of have a feeling this this is probably not the, um, the starting point of the alien invasion. This may be more like their... Uh, what would I call it? Uh, secondary or tertiary sort of spreading after they, they touch down in one building where most of their forces are. And then this building just gets some of the, the stragglers from nearby. Let's... Then these guys... So we've got three, door, three teams for three doors. And I've got one more team that's kind of... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What's going on? Alert, alert. Ah, uh, Skeletoid sighted. Okay, so we do get the new alien types at least. That's fun. All right, so we're just going to stay out of line of sight. There's almost no chance he'll make it all the way down here and open that door. Um, I am going to walk people sort of out of the way if possible. A couple people will have time units like uh, good old Apollo Turtle. You can just switch to run mode quick here. And I want to make sure we've got a couple shots available in case people come through. So we've got Panda Ace, Rapid Fire if the door opens, and Apollo Turtle, Rapid Fire. And we can also get a couple more here. So that's three people with a few time units. That's as good as we're going to do. Now this group... So what I was just talking about was this group on the low ground. I was thinking maybe I'll send a couple that way, but I changed my mind. I'm going to send these guys more as backup for uh, where we know the aliens are. Well, I say that. I'm going to split the squad up. I'm going to spend a couple people this way and then a couple people towards danger. Alright, that should be enough. And then after this, so I don't forget, everyone goes to run mode and it's time to act. Alright, let's see what happens. Alright, so... Ah, <laughs> brain suckers. Um, what you may have seen there is the Skeletoid flying off. Okay, this is less good. Shoot! Shoot! Okay, good job. Devastator Cannon, yeah. You'll probably grow to love the Devastator Cannon. It is a significant improvement in damage output. So we'll have to see who demolish that brain sucker. They're also really good at destroying walls, so prepare to see this building get blown to smithereens with a little bit of luck. Alright, so we've seen Skeletoid, brain sucker is dead, and a spitter. So I believe that was... Okay, couldn't have been Blanket. This, this group. So that was Leroy Jenkins. Yeah, so I gave him uh, one of my precious Devastator Cannons because... For whatever reason, even though his accuracy isn't all that amazing, he's actually had a really good line of successful kills. Um, for some reason, he seems to do quite well when I send him into the, the thick of things. So, I mean, he's got really good morale. He's got really good time units. Strength is getting better. And, you know, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, Let's see if we can find that uh, Skeletoid. Now, it's going to run like halfway down the hall. 37 units, time units. I'm going to check this path first. More hallways. Okay, these are a bunch of doors. 
Oh man, there's just doors everywhere here. This is actually uh, a bit of a dangerous area because there's a lot of hiding spots for brain suckers. Maybe what we should do is like run, you know, halfway down the hall and take cover. Maybe have a couple people with good reaction shots uh, at the end of the hallway. But I'll move up a couple, I'll move up like a group. And then I'll leave like three or four at the back with a firing line. Oh, right. And then we've got... Yeah, I I, I really struggle with these heavy launchers. The, the trouble is... Oh, man, they are huge. There's a couple problems with them. I probably aren't... I'm probably not going to really use them. The, the trouble is they... Uh, they, uh, they blow everything up and then, you know... You're not going to make a lot of friends if you destroy their home. All right, We've got one person with devastator. So you're gonna sit here or kneel here. If it if it comes out, we'll take some long range pot shots. Um, I'll leave it on snapshot, which is relatively accurate, but doesn't use all your time units. So we get a few shots. And uh, although I wouldn't expect a whole lot, we'll try Tom Rayner with some uh, disruptor rays. They're definitely not as good at long range compared to uh, Disruptor Cannons. I mean, look at that. How is how is our stats here? We've got 55 accuracy on Zach Nakeef, and just with kneeling, not even using an aim shot, we're already at, like, maybe 75% accuracy or something. Like, that's pretty good. All right, next team. We're going to check for um, Brain Suckers. Check behind the uh, dressing area. Okay, it's a privacy fence. I like it. Let's send one of our rookies, Bagel Geese. Bagel Geese needs to get some kills. But given the layout of this room, probably what I want to do... Oh, there's another door there. I didn't even notice. Man, there's a lot of doors. Office buildings. These are, these are mazes. Okay, this room is empty, right? 100% double check. Okay. So we're going to keep a couple people sort of out of line of sight if that door opens for brain suckers. I need to double check this angle. Is that just a dead end or just a wall, I guess? It's like a waiting room. All right, so what we're going to do then is move people up in relative safety. And, you know, if something comes through that door, blast it. With lots of shots. Of course, there's some crossfire issues, potentially. Alright, so they're all moved. Let's look at this group. See if we can find anything down here. Got more rookies. This is Soltraz's second form. You haven't even seen his final form. All right, nice long hallway. Send Gus. The hopefully not as awful as his name suggests. I've never seen this type of area before. This is nice. Yeah, this is a nice place. It'd be a shame if something happened to it. Okay, well, let's hide behind the pillars for some sort of cover. We'll send a couple to the right. And then leave it like that, basically. Okay, and then all we have left to move is the people downtown. I mean, downstairs. Probably not much back here, but... Thorough Ankylo is thorough. Okay. It's more likely we'll find something... I would say reasonably high expectations of running into some enemies somewhere down here. Because that seems to be where I often find them on this these types of maps. But we'll see. You're out of time units. Okay. Well, we've already killed a couple aliens. And we do know generally where some more are. Killed exactly one so far. Don't get 
Don't get too excited. Quiet, too quiet. Oh yeah, we had some good comments about the uh, the civilians and their their usefulness or lack thereof, and the fact that some of their clothing um, <laughs> is a little suspicious. Didn't I had the uh, mushroom hat guy? I don't know what happened to that. Probably died. Probably was killed by uh, was it Rodica or something back a few episodes, fair number of episodes ago. To be fair. I feel like that's probably the sort of thing that would happen. Okay, well, let's find danger. Alright, we have found two Skeletoids. Now, given the current situation here, Fox, I don't suppose you'd be willing to just, you know, throw a gas grenade, seeing as the last team was so successful with this. And then just hide. Come on, good throw, good throw. Mm. <laughs> that was that was worth it. <laughs> that was great. He had a reaction fire before the grenade exploded and killed his friend with a disruptor cannon. <laughs> yep. That is definitely what I wanted to see. gonna check these rooms real quick oh there's a elevator here I didn't know about that that goes down to the basement all right we're just gonna have a quick peek so this would be a route that the skeletoids could escape in so we're gonna leave uh, panda down here just sort of as a uh... well, there's another door over here too but yeah, there's definitely a lot of branching paths in this uh, facility, this this government office. So I need to I need to keep an eye on all these corners. Check for elevators, basically. All right, so it sends three people that way. I better check this one then, and maybe this one. All right, we've got a pretty good sized squad here ready to go just in case this guy gets brave. Um, we've got a few people heading down to provide support in this area depending on what happens. Okay, lots of Devastator cannons in that group. Now, if this opens up, we do have another direction that gets us to a Skeletoid. Let's send uh, Rodica up with her fancy new gun. Look, you found something to shoot! So, this should be a piece of cake with Devastators. Unfortunately, I don't have any high explosives in this group, which are the second most important thing when you're fighting uh, multi-worms. But, let's see how much damage these things can do just for interest sake. One shot. Two shot. Three shot. Four shot. Five. Six? Seven shots killed. Alright. It's still not bad if you can kill a multi-worm in six shots. They're pretty tough. Alright, now hopefully you don't get mauled by worms. Um, probably not enough time units to throw a grenade. Although, there is a hidden secret technique. It's called... Well, first off, can you throw it? Oh, you could. It's called Gas Grenade Decides to Do Nothing. Well, that's a, that's the first time I've seen that happen. What I was thinking of doing was just dropping it on her feet and having the whole area get smoked. Uh, but that was less than good. Alright. Please don't eat Rodica here. Yeah, run away. That's That's fine. I'm gonna try one more smoke grenade because, well, yeah, one more smoke grenade. I just, I would really like to AOE them down, and I don't have a good um, high explosive ammo here ready to go. So I'm hoping that either Rodica goes to sleep, 
or the worms go to sleep before anyone dies. Come on, worms. Surprisingly difficult to kill worm. So who is this anyway? This is uh, Dave Bovine taking pot shots at worms in the smoke. Trying to protect Rodica. That's two kills, that's not bad. Might have shot Rodica in the back once or twice. Okay, with four time units left, out of the way. Uh, what? What? That is not how you get out of the way. I guess there must be a pot there, but instead of doing anything sensible, you went exactly back where I didn't want you. Well, that's fun. Alright, new plan. I value my soldiers more than I value this building. New attack angle. Did it die? I don't know what happened to that one. Alright, I think we killed it or it fell asleep. So, good job there, Skelath. This uh, engagement did not go quite the way I planned. Blocking up the road with everybody was not... I probably should have just had Rodica get out of the way after we killed, but I was worried that... Because she only had like 12 time units, I was worried that they were all going to maul her immediately. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. So I get the feeling there might not be anything along this angle, but... Gotta be... Gotta exp... No? We found something. Oh, it's just an egg. That's nothing to worry about. Well, you know, it would be nice if the civvies would tell us about the eggs, but... Alright. Let loose, Taylor. You've got the high ground. I don't know what I was expecting out of a machine gun at that kind of range. Probably should have switched to somewhat accurate mode. <laughs> the official terminology. Somewhat accurate mode engage. It was somewhat accurate. Alright, well the egg probably won't do anything or it'll take some shots, but you know, I... I think they'll be okay. Did I miss anybody in this group? I thought there was like five or six people in this group. That's only... One, two, three... Who are we missing? Two, three. Oh, there's one. Oh, flying. <laughs> yeah, you just gotta be special, Gus. You just gotta be special. Alright, well, maybe, Gus, you can handle this worm. Or egg, that is to say. 15 time units. That's not much. Alright, good luck. Takes a shot, misses. Takes a shot, misses. Hey, you got a hit in there. Good job, Gus. Two more. Hit. And no good. Alright, well. Tried. I don't actually really, I'm not as familiar with how sturdy the eggs are because we don't deal with them very often. They just, you know, they're easy to ignore. It's probably not a good idea to risk the Devastator Cannon friendly fire. So I'm just going to keep uh, Leroy out of the way here. Oh, I did have someone with a... Dang it! This is the weapon I was looking for. The auto cannon with explosive rounds. And I did have someone ready to go. Oh, well. I couldn't see them hiding behind the uh, curtains. Alright. Spreading out underground. A little bit dangerous down here in these dark corridors. You never know what's going to be around the corner. Okay, so we've got pretty good. You know, you got you got three people up that angle. Let's keep a, a, a team of two down here, right? All right, the egg taking some shots. 
at was it Gusty Awful who's flying around? Taking a lot of shots. Oh good, we found one. I'm you know, shoot back anytime, guys. Oh boy. That's Oh, it's scared. Oh, it knew where to go. Well, Panda, things went bad real quick. Okay, well. Uh Oh man, things are things are popping here. Okay, good shot. Someone got that. I don't even know who. I think the dead Skeletoid must have had a brain sucker launcher. Wow, things have... Uh, I think we lost somebody. And if one is all we lost, that might be a, a good ending. Well... Well, dang! I wasn't expecting poppers dropping out from the sky, basically. I should have anticipated brain suckers out of that corpse, though. That's... I kind of forgot, and I hadn't really mentioned it, but... Uh, yeah, Skeletoids get... Mostly the same equipment setup that anthropods do, so they get bas they're basically anthropods that can fly, primarily. I mean, we haven't done the autopsy yet, so you guys don't really know all the details. Well, uh, I think Panda Ace bit the big one there. Um, it was the pauper that did him in. We may have lost two. You see the log here. King Sirius is dead. Dang it! Two people killed by one pauper? That's really unfortunate. I mean, we're, we're kind of lucky the brain suckers didn't get anybody, but... Man. Two full sets of corpses. Wowzers. Well, I am sorry, fellas. I thought I was being careful. I had time units reserved for most people. And, uh, Popper just ran right in there, blew up. I think, uh, the floor got destroyed, so one of them fell down. I think. Yeah, that was definitely not how I expected that to go. Alright, well, Soul Reaver, you need to get some revenge on the aliens here. This is terrible. Now, I happen to know that this one has, uh... Some sort of protective equipment and I would like to have it for myself and he's probably already taken some gas damage so we're just gonna do that and then hide in the smoke and then you've got some backup here from Sir Danny well rip those two Dang. so we actually had the shot that saved the day and killed one of the uh, the brain suckers. I think it came up here from Zach Nakif. Kind of a weird angle, but he managed to pick one off. Which is definitely fortunate. Alright, so I would prefer to capture this one. Uh, for reasons that are relatively obvious. So what I'm going to try to do here is set up a situation where if he comes at us, he's going to get knocked out. And everyone else is actually going to hide because I don't want any more friendly fire right now. Um, that should do. If anything comes in here, you guys can blast it. That should be acceptable. Okay. Uh, dang. Dang it. I was uh, I was thinking like down here was where someone was going to die. Uh, Skelath took some damage but is okay. Uh, yeah, the worm's dead. I think that's all the worms accounted for. Back up a little bit. Let's get a little let's be a little bit smart here. I probably could have approached this mission a little bit more careful. So we'll we'll stop it here. Slow things down a little bit. You know, like technically Gus here could have been maybe killed by the egg. I don't think I've ever seen an egg really deal damage, but. I know it shoots, I just, like, look, he didn't take any damage from it, so. Yeah, you almost killed it last time. Alright, so that's the edge of the map. It's actually a fairly small map, so this is kind of it for this group. Unless I want to blow some holes in the wall. These guys have nothing to do. Uh, what about my underground team?
Well, given the way things have been going... Um... Oops, not quite what I wanted. I'm gonna reserve a few extra time units here uh, for paupers. <laughs> because that was just terrible. Not awful. That was Gus the Terrible for sure. Uh, no, don't move. Fine. Alright, we got an anthropod. Unfortunately, sneaking from behind. Oh, that's a grenade. Sorry, Danny, but. Oh, man. What is going on? Suddenly they're just not going unconscious and they're coming out from everywhere. I don't know what this guy is up to. Or maybe he was hiding in the smoke. Maybe he was past... Maybe that's another Skeletor I didn't know about. Alright. Well, some wounds. That's the nature of the game. Alright, well, Sir Danny, uh, don't be merciful now. You've been critically wounded. Of course, he's got a med kit though, so we can cure that without too much damage. Well, that did suck up a lot of time units, unfortunately. Alright. Well. Someone's got to kill these guys. Oh, he's got a. Yeah, that's. Okay, give me a second. I know there's a Skeletoid down here. Can we do all of our team? Oh, come on! Look at this! Alright, who's gonna do the deed? Alright. Fox, you're a Psyop. No, sorry. Tom, Raynor, you're a Psyop. This civilian has made a critical mistake. Do not block us into our room while we're being ambushed by aliens. That is not acceptable. Alright, you've got a flying suit. I need you to find out what's down here. There we go, we found it. Get behind it a little bit. Find out if it's got one of those things. It's a shield, come on, you guys know what it is. Um... I wonder if it's worth trying to capture. Maybe we should try to hit it with like a panic. 45%, hey? Maybe mind control? 0%, of course. Stun would be pretty good too. 33? Uh, I have no idea what those symbols mean, but it doesn't look stunned. I would prefer if uh, it was unconscious, though. I don't know if that'll work, but we'll try. I guess, you know, you can get out of it if you can. Nope. <laughs> You're probably safer there, anyway. Alright. While we're fighting enemies with... I mean, if you haven't guessed yet, I will spoil it for you. But they have personal shields. And um, getting as many personal shields brought home is, as possible, is the way to save people's lives in the future. This guy didn't have a shield on, so there's no specific reason to capture him. Trying to jump down. Oh, he's got a flying suit. Can't jump when you're flying. Alright. This one definitely had a shield, but... Oh, this is Apollo Turtle. Alright, I can't resist. Point blank. Power sword equip. This might even bypass the shields anyway. And go. It definitely does not. That's one of the reasons why uh, capturing is better as well. So we lost everything that that body had, unfortunately. And uh, Sir Danny took some more damage. Alright, it's fine. Hey Danny, you got a, you got a kill, good for you. Alright, well you got to see how the sword works. 
What do you think's left? Anything hiding over here I should deal with? Alright, we're at the edge of the map. There was a Skeletoid over here, but I'm hoping it's, you know, fallen asleep. Uh, let's... Stop! Just stop. I wanted to see if there's anything hiding down here. You'll probably find the corpse. This might have been the same one that just ran all the way down there. Alright, uh... I think we're probably about done here. There's not too many more places for aliens to be hiding. Unfortunately, with two deaths, this has not been a su an incredibly successful mission. Oh! Oh yeah, there's that spitter! Forgot about him. Alright, we'll have to deal with that guy. He is certainly not the big threat, though. Four people will be more than enough. Unless he's got some popper friends. Alright. Alright, he fell out. He, he fell asleep. That's good. We must have captured at least a couple of these shield-wearing aliens. That's... Honestly, if we had shields equipped, which obviously is going to take a while, people would not be dying. So that's... I'm, I'm trying to do all this capturing for your sake, so that you're not the next uh, Panda Ace. Of course, the good news for Panda Ace is I do have some replacement soldiers ready to go. So, if you did die, no reason not to be resurrected. Raised from the ashes. So I bet you the, uh... The spitter's the last enemy on the map. Who should go? Well, I feel like the machine gun's probably the easiest way to deal with this thing. There's actually two of them. That's fine. There you go. There's your kill, Dave Bovine. And kill number two. Maybe. That looked like a lot of misses, to be totally frank. Hey! Well, Bovine, you got a promotion. We lost a couple. Had to kill a civilian. They had it coming. Don't block my team in. That's... Ah, uh, man. Sometimes they're pretty dumb. Okay, well... I... Lost a couple soldiers. Let's, uh, hold on. Um... I'm just trying to remember, trying to decide if I need to reroute uh, both of my uh, my my vessels. If 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 the Duxon should be redirected back to Zenobi or not, I don't think so though. Um, yeah, no, we're fine. There's no aliens we captured that really matter, and the the gear can go to both sites. It's fine because I'll need. I'll need the gear at both places once it's been researched. So yeah, the interestingly enough, it seems like most of the time, I wonder if because it's because the the Duxon interceptor was my first interceptor. I think it seems to get priority for alien corpses, which is just interesting. Anyway, we can just destroy them. It's fine. I don't. There couldn't have been anything new there. Okay, well, uh. We're definitely down a few soldiers. Um, I'm probably going to need to end the episode. It's actually been a pretty long episode. That was a long mission. Definitely longer than I expected. Um, what I'm thinking of doing, just to try to save time, uh, and I, hopefully you guys won't hate me for it, but I'm thinking of checking the buildings around it off camera and um, just trying to run the missions quickly uh, be between episodes. I know it's you know cutting content, but um, what we did today... I felt like I was a little bit rushed because I'm trying to, you know, keep the game moving forward. If I played a little bit cautiously and took my time, uh, it would have been less likely anyone would have died. And to be fair, you've seen Skeletoids. They've got shields on. We're going to research it as soon as we possibly can. But we're in the phase where we've got a bunch of missions to do, so there's no progress on anything until I clear these buildings. So, if I just clear those buildings, we'll gather up some gear, I'll do my best playing cautiously to make sure no one else dies. And then, if something interesting does happen, like if I see a new alien, 
or some sort of new alien tech, I'll start recording there immediately because that's I don't want to cut stuff out like that. But uh, I will try to keep people alive, and I will, of course, um, have to add in two more resurrected bodies. Two more corpses back from the dead. But uh, yeah, I, I would like to just clear those off, off camera, and then hopefully next episode, you know, we can actually get the clock going and start making some progress. We're, we're over 20 episodes in, and we're only on the beginning of week three, so, you know, I don't want this to be a 500 episode series, so sometimes we've got to just... Uh, sort of grind away some missions. Anyway, that's my thinking. Hopefully you guys are cool with it. Either way, that's what's going to happen. I will see you next e next episode. Thanks for watching and I'll see you there.